just like I predicted in my video entitled Gold 2000 in the year 2020. Today, gold jumped to a new record high pushing further past $2,000. Gold closed at $2,053 an ounce. And silver just shy of 27, up 3.5%. This is a historical record high. In fact, gold price rises above $2,000 for the first time in history. The yellow metal has soared over 34% in 2020, surpassing the year-to-date 22.5% rally in the NASDAQ Composite Index Comp, plus 0.52%, composed of high-flying technology stocks that have led to the overall equity market rally. If you have been following our research into gold and silver over the past years, then you were already prepared for the recent rally that has taken many investors by surprise. This year, 2020, gold and silver are set up to have their best year of price appreciation over the past 40 plus years. It is no consequence that this is taking place right now. Our cycle research and our predictive modeling systems have helped us stay well ahead of this move. In fact, way back in early 2019, we were already warning this type of price move would take place and suggesting a target price level of $3,000 for gold was not out of the question. We believe gold has still had a long way to run up over the long term. There is no end in sight to the Federal Reserve money printing. Gold is the disaster hedge. The debasement of the dollar is the canary in the coal mine. Gold and silver will steal the show this year as all the money is flowing there. I suspect lots of pension funds are now converting their stupid papers into real money. I predict that gold prices will continue to move higher, with new record highs likely to be set on an ongoing basis against the US dollar over the coming weeks. And watch silver run off to $36 per ounce once it breaks through 27 to 28. This has always been my premise. Gold will get the headlines and attention. As it continues its climbing, those that can't afford a $3,000 outlay will opt for the silver, thereby driving silver to triple-digit levels. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to smash that like button. And as you know friends, I rely totally on your donations to keep this channel functional, as you know, it takes a crazy amount of research and time to bring you this content on a daily basis, so I hope you consider helping with whatever donation you can afford. Thank you. Understand there is only one third of an ounce of gold available for every investor on earth. Gold is money, and it is scarce. The proof is that central governments store it. Not only are you swapping fiat currency for real money, but you are also buying labor and technology that extracted, refined, and stamped a beautiful coin or bar. You will be locking in this labor and technology at today's prices forever. You're at the very least fighting inflation, let alone securing your family's financial security. We are currently moving through a depression, a depression that will culminate in the worst depression in recorded history. And most people simply will not believe what's taking place. Unemployment worse than 1929, no welfare corporate or otherwise, no food, and the dollar is worthless. Hordes of people foraging for food and others violently trying to steal your food and whatever else they can get their hands on. It makes me wonder how many people actually know what's going on right now and how bad it's going to get. I get the feeling that most have no clue, and they aren't prepared. An epic gold bull market is on the menu for 2020. Gold and silver have had an exciting run in the past couple of months, and this is taking place exactly because precious metals are doing what they are supposed to do, act as a hedge against economic instability. This is where I see a disconnect in the mainstream media and the stock market pundits in their explanations for the gold rally since July. Once the consolidation between $2,000 to $2,500 ends, the next stop is above $3,000, then new records. Gold was already hitting all-time highs in 73 currencies, Canada, Japan, Australia, Great Britain, and the Euro. Banks want physical, as simple as that. The US may not revert back to a gold-backed standard, but that won't stop gold from eventually hitting $5,000 US. It will happen. Only a matter of time, especially with negative interest rates spreading like a wave across the planet. The continued monetary debasement paradigm of the Fed that reduces the purchasing power of our dollar will ultimately cause real money, gold and silver, to soar. I think that we might revisit the stagflationary years of the 1970s, where gold appreciated 2,400%. Economic mother nature will destroy the dollar. Given the reserve currency status, and considering that world trade has more or less collapsed, trillions of dollars normally used in international trade are no longer required and will be repatriated back to the US. 
the reserve currency status is the very thing that will collapse the dollar. We didn't learn squat. Pouring financial liquidity on insolvency just burns money. Every fiat currency in the history of mankind has gone to zero and both gold and silver went to infinity in that currency. And it looks very likely that the current fiasco is right at the start of when that happens to the fiat US dollar and other worldwide fiat currencies. In which case, the price of gold and silver has only just begun to move, which is now very likely, because the predators that be refused to do anything prudent in their several previous opportunities when it might have worked. Precious metals are real money valued in fake money. Precious metals are unique, serving as the only true store of value, the standard of value and measure of value, besides being a medium of exchange. If one has physical metal stored and understands the inherent control with its direct access at any given moment, it has been and remains the safest way to protect wealth from the current powerful debasement. The dollar has gone down 98 plus percent when compared to gold since Franklin D. Roosevelt executive order forbidding the hoarding of gold. Just how much of a drop is needed for a currency to be dying? And more importantly, how long will the next 98% drop take? The dollar will die suddenly, faster than you can blink. Then all hell breaks loose. All roads lead back to the fiat money system, broken countries. Broken trade. Broken bond markets. Broken manufacturing. Broken businesses. Broken housing markets. Broken labor markets. Broken people. Malinvestments. Wealth inequality. Big government. Wars. End the Fed. Bring back the classical gold standard. After Nixon closed the gold window, gold just kept rising. So around 1980, they created the fake paper gold market, and central banks agreed to sell real gold to stabilize the price. That agreement runs out in September, and they have decided not to renew it. The heat is on. Gold bitches. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. All fiat eventually collapses, and the dollar will be no different, and $2,000 gold is cheap, so get it while you can. Both silver and gold will be unobtainium. Please protect your family by buying some physical gold and silver, even just 10% of your net worth. Bypass the future food lines and shortages, as people in rich countries before have done in times of national upheaval. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.